Leslie. Good evening, Charlie. I am Charles Gross. Uh, and I'm the aforementioned Leslie Hoban Blake, yes. historian of the Drama Desk. Here yes, I am. Yes, yes. <laughs> Time to make a little history in the theater tonight. Indeed. And we're going to well, start with... We actually did make some with this show. Oh. It's, it's The Clockwork Orange. Mm -hmm. And this is John O. Davies. And John O. Davies came yes. with the show from London, mm -hmm. as did a couple of the other guys, right. um, but not all of them. And he plays the role that Malcolm McDowell created in the original Clockwork Orange movie. Right. Now, I know you didn't see the movie. Never saw the movie, never read the book, so this was really my first yeah. exposure to and it. And I have to say that if I had not read the book and seen the movie, I wouldn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> but having done so, I thought they did a wonderful thing. The book takes place in a, the story, takes place in a dystopian future mm -hmm. in London, and this is very important nice in those world. projects that they have in London where um, they're not called, I think they're called council houses, but anyway, so they're, he, they're very poor, but nobody's poor anymore. They've, they've reached a place where they have pleasant things in their house, mm -hmm. but the place looks like a project. It's all written on and destroyed and whatnot, and he, Alex and his droogs, which is his gang, D-R-O-O-G-S, mm -hmm. his droogs, are part of this group that run around and do graffiti and do all of this. Now, this is... Well, you know, do a lot more than that. They're a violent No, 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 no. I just wanted to, say, I wanted to explain. But, you see, all of these opening things are gone. They're not in this play. Mm -hmm. What he did was to take out the heart of the play, which is that these are violent kids, and mm -hmm. in order to try to fix the violence that they do, they're going to use Pavlovian uh, uh, scientific means. Right. And you have the bare, barest wisp of the plot. I actually, I looked up the story right. after I saw the show, and I actually did comprehend it a after, lot. Afterwards. <laughs> sort of. I, I realized, yes, I did understand, what, yeah. but it's the barest wisp and of, of story. And if you're not familiar with the play, there's going to be trouble. But Anthony it's this... Burgess, who, who wrote the book, created mm -hmm. a whole language for these kids, which was half Russian-based mm -hmm. and half English-based. Well, that's, that's And gone. then there was a glossary in the book. And, and you know that they like Beethoven. And, and Beethoven is a very important is, is right. a character, a full character. But Well, that's the problem. <laughs> there are no full characters in this play. None of them are really developed. You get this homoerotic presentation yes. With, yes. with an occasional dash of psychedelic in it, and a lot of very handsome, very buff young men running around with their shirts I off, which I'm sure you enjoyed. I, I, but I, I, indubitably. You, you and get Jono, an amazing staging, but you don't get a play. Well, but Jono, and that's, no, the, and and that's the problem. And you do in this sense. Jono is the, is, is the most buff of all of them. He's twice mm. the size of anybody else <laughs> on the stage. And they show, he's been on morning shows, and he shows the, the, the routine that he does, throwing tires from trucks around and whatnot. It's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. But... What I wanted to say was it reminded me of Matthew Bourne, who's bringing over the red shoes. I don't know that mm -hmm. we're going to get to see it. It's only here for one week. But Matthew Bourne could have done this. If, if Matthew Bourne hadn't done what he's done, I don't know that this play would exist. Okay. Because what you have is choreography. Mm -hmm. Instead of violence, you have choreography. And I yes. was I was loath to go after going to 1984 and not liking it. Oh, I loved 1984. I know you did, but I didn't. And I, so here we are on the other side of the issue. I loved this one, and I did because it took the heart of the story, which you don't know, so you can't know that. And the heart of the story is, and we're going to be showing that in, in, the, in the film sequence that we have, is when they put his eyes like this and make him watch movies because they know he loves movies. Mm -hmm. And so they give him a, aversion techniques to train him not to do violence anymore. Right. And they play Beethoven whenever there's violent scenes, mm -hmm. and Beethoven is his favorite thing. Yes. So it's horrible. I mean, really, if you think about what they're doing to his head. Now, this yeah, was from it, the it, 80s. It, it is horrible, but but this is a pretty horrible guy. Well, yes. Oh, no. There's no question that right. he deserves This is not a dead. hero. This is not even no, an anti-hero. No, I, I know. You I do know. not sympathize with him. You do not empathize with him. You don't like him. Maybe occasionally you'll feel just a twinge sorry for him, but not really. Maybe no. when he goes back to his, his old gang and they beat him up and he can't. Right. And that's, what's, that's, what, that's what happens. Yeah. I mean, he, he, he loses. Because he was the alpha male, mm -hmm. he loses Yes, he loses everything. that. That's all he and had. We and, don't, and, and we don't care. And in this, but, but again, it's like Mad Max. Right. In this Mad Max-like society, mm -hmm. if you're not the alpha male, forget about it. So right. that's, that was well, his punishment. Well, that is my attitude toward the play. Okay. Forget, forget about, about it. it. No story, no characters. It was 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. It 
it was very balletic. Yes. I, I found myself really enjoying it against I, my better judgment. I certainly judgment. did not. I know, but I just wanted to say that. Okay. And there are a bunch of guys, I'm sorry, I can't really name all of them. I mean, okay. I have their names here. But we have here. to move on because we have we a have lot to, to cover on, tonight. Right. So. Um, but they're both American and English, and the show is running for another week or two. And I, I do hope you get to see it. Um, I think it's well worth seeing, and if you know the the movie, it's especially and and in today's world. I think if you're not familiar with the story, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be very difficult. Look it up and online again, I first. Gen, but I do, go. but I do think, I, and I do think a play should convey the story. Yeah. And even knowing the story, had I gone in, maybe I would have liked it better. Well, maybe what would not. You give it? I would give this two playbills. I, I was impressed with the staging. Okay. Oh, and the staging and was by it, a it, woman. If which you're is Leslie very or if you're, well, that explains the buff men. Oh, stop If it. you're a woman or if you're gay, you'll have. <laughs> You at least have that. Alexandra Spencer Jones. But for us straight beat, guys. Can you beat that name, Alexandra Spencer Jones, for mm -hmm. the director's name? Very anyway, nice. Anyway, um, I, I highly recommend it, and I would give it a 4.5 no, to no. offset not, your not two. Not at all. Not at all. You and yours have built the Grezhny world we like. Live in. So now you pay. How about me, eh? Where do I come into all of this? Am I just some animal? Or dog? Am I to be just like a corporate?